The report from the Centers for Disease Control found that in 2022, one in 31 children were diagnosed with autism by the age of eight. That compares to one in 36 two years earlier. The U.S. Health Secretary described the rates as shocking. There is an extreme risk for boys. Overall, the risk for boys of getting an autism diagnosis in this country is now one in 20. At a press conference Wednesday, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. called autism a preventable disease and said environmental toxins are the cause. These are kids who many of them were fully functional and regressed because of some environmental exposure into autism when they're two years old. He rejected the theory that rising rates are due to better diagnosis, calling it an ideology of epidemic denial. But an author on the CDC study says increased awareness is a factor. Um, we've changed diagnostic practices. We've changed diagnostic criteria. We've broadened what we think of in terms of the autism spectrum. And also we've gotten much better at conducting these prevalence studies themselves. Kat and Dan West have four children, three of them with autism. They say the health secretary's approach will make things worse. Autism is not it's not an epidemic, it's not a disease, it is a developmental condition. The way you treat it is through support and therapies and treatments, not by saying let's find the cause. The current autism rates are nearly five times higher than in 2000. West says early intervention has been critical for getting the best support for his kids. Stephanie Stahl, CBS News, Philadelphia.